Your Excellency the President, Excellencies, Heads of State and Government, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. President, Sisi, thank you for convening us and for timely for a timely theme delivering for people and the planet. What an opportune time to meet right after the COVID-19 pandemic. A time to reflect on COVID-19 effects to nature, people, and prosperity. Along with the pandemic came lessons, opportunities, and a powerful reminder of the nexus between environmental health and human health. A reminder to build back better and sustainably by retracking our footprints towards green transition. Our yesterday's inaction should not be our today's excuse because science has unfolded the scale of this planetary crisis in its effects to vulnerable communities and our cause of action. The COVID-19 lockdowns gave us a stepping stone towards the right path. This green path is sustain sustainable through transformed and modernized industry and infrastructure, accelerated economic diversification and competitiveness, and strengthened resilience. Excellencies, Science has shown a direct correlation between human prosperity and environmental prosperity. Nature-based economy can be our reality if only we have a shared vision and leverage opportunities that deliver real and structural changes. We are in Shamalsher, a city in a continent whose economy relies explicitly on natural resources. A continent where millions of its vulnerable communities are grappling with poor public health, greenhouse gas emissions, and loss of livelihoods due to severe climatic effects. Delays, or concrete, uh, delays on concrete actions to address loss and damage leaves us with no choice but to realign our mega financial resources to build a climate resilient economy that ensures survival of the bigger segment of our population that depends on agriculture for livelihood and to save the looming decline of our gross national product of which agriculture accounts for a greater share. On another hand, inaction means risking our development agenda and prosperity. And thus, in this regard, we in Tanzania has in place the national climate change response, the national climate change response strategy and the national determined contributions which set targets of reducing greenhouse gases emissions economy-wide between 30 to 35 percent by 2030. With an estimated US dollar 19.2 billion as cost of implementation. Now the question is how on earth, on earth the country like Tanzania raise this amount of money for mitigation and adaptation of the climate um, effects. Nevertheless, showing the political will, Tanzania is continuing to construct and expand rapid transport networks that are expected to reduce more than 900 million tons uh, of carbon generated each year. We are also determined to increase the use of renewable energy sources from 60% in 2015 to 80% in 2025. Tanzania also is committed to preserve 48 million hectares of forest, and this is about 55% of the total land area of the country. And on top of that, 
we are planting 200 million trees in every three years. All we are asking here is for a, an alignment of global carbon prices to help generate resources from this carbon sink. Excellencies, this is the type of leadership exhibited by the developing countries that lack technological know-how, lacking financial and human capacities, having limited scientific information at our fingertips. Yet with these limitations, our part of the world is asked to choose life or death. The question is, do we have an option unless we do it together? And in this regard, we urge developing our developed countries, especially the G20, to fulfill their commitments. We call upon effective implementation of technology transfer while unlocking climate finance to fund our national determined contributions. We are also urging the developed world to raise their subsequent NDC's ambitions to halt greenhouse gas emissions from crossing the irreversible tipping point of atmospheric concentration of carbon dioxide. Having said that, Excellencies, I thank you for your kind attention. Thank you very much.